My name is Master Andrew. This is my dojo. Today, we received a notebook from eBay. Some laptops for less. Canada. And I'm just setting it up right now. I want to see if this will do high definition. And then maybe we can start expanding our options a little bit here on the tube as far as the recordings go. Now it's a latitude 2120, I think 12.1 inch laptop screen or something like that. But anyways, I don't know much about technology and when it comes to computers especially. Recording at resolutions larger than 720p. In AVI, MOV, MP4, L FLV formats may result in very low frame rate video. So, you may opt to resize the output to a smaller resolution. Press open video options. Okay, do not show this message again. Open video options. 720p. Now, what we'll do is we'll do a test drive here. And we are experiencing heavy frame drop. Now, what frame drop is, is it's just not quite like it would on this camera here, this 4K camera here we have on the Zenfone. So, too bad. We can use it for other things, like we can record the screen and maybe do some live videos and stuff like that on Facebook or Instagram or possibly even YouTube when the channel gets big enough we'll be able to start opening up live streams for the fan base that well, we create as a result of our devious deeds so far to accumulate a larger community here on the channel. So in a minute and 22 seconds, we've already dropped almost 1,300 frames. So it's, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not recording quite like we want it to be. So it looks like what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to get a webcam if we're going to want to record with the laptop. We're either going to have to get a webcam or we're going to have to record a less definition on the laptop and maybe we'll get a better a better frame rate. Again, what frame rate is, is the better the frame rate and the less frames per second that are dropped, the more it will turn up like this and less choppy like it is on the laptop, which actually nobody is going to be able to see right now, except for me. So what it's doing is it's recording at four frames a second. So standard camera that is installed in the Latitude 2120 notebook is basically unusable for 
drops way too many frames. I'm not sure what exactly it's good for, to be quite honest with you. If need be, like if it was the last thing on earth, I might use it. I might venture into it. But that's not why we bought the laptop. We bought the laptop simply for to have a computer that we can use other than the Xbox, which is what we've been using now for, well, since the inception of the channel. And that was back in July 2017. And then about eight months ago, my old cell phone fell in the toilet and somebody donated a $497 phone. I think the very next day, so. And we got that at Best Buy. We got an Asus Zenfone 3 and it was for that market, probably I would say like tier two. Tier two is pretty good. Like when I use tier rankings for things, like tier one is the best of the best of the best. I'm talking like the Samsung Galaxies, the S9s, the iPhone Xs, stuff like that, that are gonna cost like a thousand dollars and we just buy it with cold hard cash, which most people don't today. But I'm not most people. I like to buy things right out and not have to owe because of my past and I don't like incurring debt for that reason because it just seems to never get paid off in full. And by the end of it, it's either like two, three, four, or five times more than what the original item cost in the first place. Plus all the headaches and stress that come with that. So I don't bother going into debt today for that reason. I just like to buy things at the table, flat out, or have it donated. So with that being said, the point I'm making here is with this phone, the, the Azu Zenfone 5 is actually the, probably the tier 1 Android Asus phone available right now, but at that time I think what was out was the Azu Zenfone 4. Again, I'm not an expert on this stuff, but I did a little bit of research on it following and the Asus Zenfone 3 didn't come out but a year before I actually purchased it. So it's a relatively new phone. It has a 4K camera. It has 32 gigabytes of internal memory, which is really good. It's very standard practice among newer cell phones today. And three gigabytes of internal hard drive to actually speed up the processing of the way the phone runs. So it's top of the line and as far as those two things go. I'm rarely dissatisfied with the Asus Zenfone 3 and the phone feature as well as all of the other features on the product work to my liking most of the time. So I would definitely say that that was a good purchase, all things considered. However, this here laptop we got off eBay and it was only $100 and it was used and I opened it up. They had it delivered to me within two weeks. And I opened it up out of the box and I looked at it and it's appearing to have been cleaned with some type of either vacuum, like a computer cleaner vacuum or, because it looks brand new and I know it's not because the battery wasn't working properly. I would say the battery is about half mast. So it was at 44% and this is standard this is just the way notebooks are after six minutes of not having it plugged in it was down to six percent so obviously the battery is worn so i connected the charger and i unplugged the battery which i believe is the best thing to do most people don't know this most people wouldn't know this because most people aren't told this but i'm going to tell you right now the laptop, if the battery can be removed, and most can from laptops, notebooks, or any PC that has a battery that's removable. Well, I guess not removable, but uh, most portable computers like laptops or notebooks have a battery that can be removed. If they do, I would recommend removing them while not charging the laptop. If the laptop's charging, 
I might plug it in, but I still wouldn't even recommend that unless I'm planning on taking the computer somewhere and not having access to a power outlet on the wall. I would take the battery out and, and plug the charger in without the battery in the laptop and run it that way because that will preserve the battery for a lot longer than having the battery in the laptop while the laptop is plugged in at the same time and people run that for hours and days and days and days and that will just wear the battery out quicker than anything. And this was told to me by a relatively more professional tech guy earlier in my life and I've always noticed that after the fact I've always looked at the battery composition of the laptop from the time I used it to the time it disintegrates they don't last that long they're not built to last I don't know what it is but I've never had a top of the line computer laptop or anything of the sort Actually, the most high-tech device I've ever had was this most recent phone with the 4K camera, which I just can't get over how amazing that is. But, anyways, I'm very happy with this. It's, it's something to start with anyways, because before this, we didn't have a laptop of any kind to use. And things were strange, I'm not going to lie. Like, to run a YouTube channel without a laptop is like driving a car without a door. Like, it's not a necessity, but it's definitely hindrance. So it's nice that we were finally able to pick this up over the last couple of weeks and it's clean. It came completely wiped and everything runs properly on it. We're going to look to get a new battery here, but as I was saying about the battery, I took it off and I looked at it. It's all clean. Like there's no dirt on the computer whatsoever. You know, so I am definitely happy with that. For $100 Canadian, it does not get much better than that. It has Windows 7 on it. It's not that new. Probably like five years old, I would say. Because today they're coming out with Windows 8 and Windows 10, so if I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong. Like I said, I'm not an expert on computers or technology or anything like that. But I'm very happy with what we have here today, and this is a good start. So we downloaded the antivirus. We got, um, let's see here, AV, total AV antivirus. That was the first thing we downloaded for the computer. And that took a little while on a relatively slow Wi-Fi connection. It took about an hour. And I must stress, that's a relatively slow Wi-Fi connection. On a good Wi-Fi connection, that probably would have took five minutes. However, at that time that we were downloading it, it was extremely slow. So we have that now, and that's totally free. And it was the top-ranked free antivirus software in 2018. Moving on from that, all that aside, we gave them a good rating on eBay. We gave them a positive feedback. And, yeah, so it, the shipping, it came in a box with bubble wrap and everything like that. So I was very satisfied. And then we were just on... YouTube, we were checking out the Supreme Patty free chain collection sale. And I'm not going to lie, like, name brand, N A M E B R A N, capital N, capital B, has done a feature on his channel about a week ago. And he went on supremepatty.com, which at this time is I think it's based out of Los Angeles, California. And they're having free chain sales. So like chains, uh, chains that would normally cost like $100, $150 rings, like $50 rings and watches and stuff like that. They have really cool designs. Like I'm looking at a Xanax pendant right now. It's got literally like a gold Xanax bar. There's a plug, like a free plug chain, so it's like a plug that you would plug into the wall. All kinds of stuff here. They ha they even have one for Christians. It's a free cross chain. That would be like $100. They have like thick 
link gold chain that would be like a Miami Cuban link for $150 like they have a lion with a crown with diamonds in it even the 100 sign like the 100 100 sign like it's like all diamond and all these are free like they don't even cost a, a, a dime all you have to do is pay shipping so what name brand did was he went on here and he bought like four free things and paid just the shipping which is like seventeen ninety nine US and he opened them up and as I was watching him he opened these up and they look like crap they felt like crap they probably he wouldn't even have probably paid the shipping price at a, at a normal store for these items and I'm just looking over the stuff here on the, on the website the stuff looks fantastic like I would purchase it all if I hadn't watched his video and I had gone, came across this store, like I'm looking at this Miami Cuban link chain, it's actually the type of chain that I've always wanted. Not that exact chain, just that 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 similar design. And this one here would be $150 as gold, but it's not real gold. They don't say it's real gold on the website, but it looks like real gold. And it's free. So to the untrained eye, that would be like a really good deal. But then when you have to go to pay the $17.99 US shipping, I wouldn't even pay $5 for that chain in real life, shipping or not, after the feel of it. Like he bought a bunch of rings off there and they were like hollow, thin, crappy metal. Like you could probably fold them in your fingers. That's how cheap the material was. So I'm not going to bother, I don't think, unless they've somehow reduced the shipping. There's some flex rings on here that look pretty cool. But they have just normal, like, gold, platinum, or black, just like regular embossed rings. They're just really nice. I don't know what my ring size is. I don't know. They're, they give you an option of 10, 11, 12, 13, 7, 8, or 9, so I'm not... The standard size here that shows up is ten, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take that one. Black, I'm gonna add it to the cart here. And again, this is SupremePatty.com, so it's S-U-P-R-E-M-E-P-A-T-T-Y dot com. This is just a normal website on online. And so you can pay with Google Pay if you have that. I don't. Or you can just check out regularly, which is I'm, that's what I'm going to do here. And I'm going to see what, they, what they're going to charge us here for the shipping if they've reduced that in the last week. It's not going to say until I, until I give them my shipping address. So and I guess it's not that big of a deal. I can just jot that in. Oh, it already has it out there. How does that even work? already has my address. It already has my information already on here. Very interesting. I wonder where they got that from. So anyways, it's already on there. Most of it anyways. I just have to type in the apartment number here. It's not like anybody can't find this stuff out anyways. Like if somebody really wants to find out where somebody lives, what their phone number is, what their postal code is, country, province, any of that stuff, Anybody with determination in this world to do that is going to do that, regardless of if I hide my information or not. So I, like, I'm not big on public safety when it comes to like hiding information and stuff like that online. Like It's out there. If somebody's going to become an identity thief and I'm that important that they're going to steal my identity, well, they're going to do it regardless of how well protected I am or not. So... I personally think it's a little bit of a waste of time to fear that, to live in fear of identity theft. It's definitely a reality and something that I would not ever think couldn't happen to me. But I'm not going to sit here and go, oh, I'm worried that somebody's going to steal my identity. Like, no, if they're going to steal my identity, they're going to do it and they're going to do it fast. So they want my email address.
I just want to see what the shipping cost is on this ring here because that's actually that's a really nice ring. I would pay like five or six bucks for that ring, honestly. No, they're going to charge $17.99 US just shipping. Just that. They're going to give, they're not going to charge for the ring, but they're going to charge, that would come out to about $25 Canadian. And I'm not with that. I'm not doing that. Not today, anyways. If they were quality products, but Brand was on and he was looking at all the stuff they shipped him. They shipped him rings, chains, and everything looked like crap. Felt like crap. It was just totally, it was, there was no quality to it whatsoever. So I wouldn't even bother paying $10. Like, this is stuff that I would go to, like, Mexico and walk up to, like, some side, like, person sitting on the road selling like homemade jewelry and pay like a hundred pesos and get like a ten times better quality chain than on this website which is basically selling plastic and calling it gold it's ridiculous so anyway not really my thing it may work for someone else it's not going to work on me it's not I mean, you could slap a price tag, and that's what people are doing. And, and this stems from Wish.com. Like, Wish.com is famous for this. Slap a $1,200 price tag on a cell phone and then cut down the price, but show the old price and then sell the cell phone for, like, $55. And then say you're getting, like, $1,000 off. It's, like, it's going to make it look really attractive to some particular people, especially ones that are low income. But... I don't look at the price when I'm looking at a phone or anything to buy online. I don't just look at the price. I look at everything. I look at the specs. Like, I bought a cell phone recently off Wish for $56.50, and that was with a 5% discount, a 10% discount, and a 5% discount off of the discounted price. So it was $65, and then it got discounted 10%. And then after that 10% discount was applied, it got discounted another 5%. But I looked at the phone, and the phone had 32 gigabytes of internal memory and 4 gigabytes of RAM, so it runs very quickly as well. There's probably something to it that I'm not seeing, but I wasn't looking at the big sale that I was getting. I was just looking at what do I need, like what's going to be an operable cell phone for me uh, to do the YouTube X video watching and then have this here phone to do everything else with so after all is said and done and as well to use some other apps at times don't need it for much but i definitely can't have a lacking cell phone with like 512 megabytes of like internal memory to, the phone wouldn't even run and you can buy one and most commonly buy those for around 50 dollars. so i shopped around for like three days and we finally found one that actually had all the specs around a six inch screen it's android it's newer like it's brand new it's on wish.com the price was right the internal storage was there the speed was there and so we purchased it i mean i couldn't live without that so that's on the way here sometime soon as well the laptops here we also got the boots from walmart my winter boots came in from walmart today they were not really my favorite style, but I mean, I'm not looking to be flashy or anything like that anyway, so. Yeah, online shopping. Not a fan of it. I don't normally do it. I will do it. I have to. It sure beats the pants off of traveling to the land-based stores, especially without a vehicle or any real desire to walk or bus it or cab it or have somebody drive me uptown or just wait or walk around barefoot or in some pair of tattered old shoes or whole winter boots or something like that and get all water inside them so I figured why not just buy them at walmart.com I shopped on Amazon I shopped on Wish I shopped on eBay for again like three days and finally came across a pair of winter boots that I felt was best for me price style, size, everything, shipping was free. 
Yeah, so that's what we've been doing over the last couple weeks there. And now that we have this bad boy to run with, we can run Facebook off it as well. We can do all kinds of stuff that we couldn't do before. The All three devices now are going at the same time. That'll hopefully be able to get us to the point where we're sustaining a little bit more of a source of income that's more than what we have now and enough to support more behavior than what we're just doing at this moment, which is extremely limited with what we have. It's better than what we did have. But I think if we keep doing what we're doing, that will continue to grow and change. And we're not going to be buying any jewelry off of Supreme Patty today because A, I don't trust it. B, it's overpriced. I could get this stuff anywhere. Like, the only thing that is nice about these chains and stuff like that, even the watches are really nice, is the designs are very unique. However, the quality is just not there. Not even for the low price of seventeen ninety nine US. It's just, it, the quality is just, it's not like it looks like on the website. The website makes it look perfect. The website makes it look like thousand dollar jewelry, literally. Diamonds and gold, like, but in real life it's like, they're like glued on like plastic diamonds and like just ugh something I wouldn't even give to my worst enemy on his worst day but that I'm gonna let everybody go for today anybody new to the channel or returning can help out by doing one or many of the following suggestions subscribe like dislike comment Click on one of the links to our social media and join in the conversation, as well as the link to the PayPal are in the description, and we're always accepting donations. With that, I'm getting out of here for now. This has been Master Andrew.